Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good and are safe at your homes. I know the lockdown has been extended, but it's for our own safety guys. So stay at home and stay safe. Today's video is a very interesting one. It is to find the purpose of your life, your Ikigai. So let's begin. Few days back, I read this book called Ikigai. It's one of the international bestseller and was on my list since long. It was such an interesting read. Now, what is Ikigai? Ikigai is a Japanese concept which means a reason of being. It's your purpose of life, your reason to jump out of your bed every morning. It's your that purpose of life which will make your life worthwhile. So that got me thinking that so many of us feel lost. So many of us don't know what to do next or we just don't know the purpose of our lives and what our ikigai is. But let me tell you that's perfectly normal. That's perfectly okay not to know your purpose of life or ikigai at the present because it's a lifelong journey. It's a process to learn and know your ikigai. At the end of the day, it's all about getting to that point where you know your ikigai or purpose of life by, you know, self-help books, by such videos or content or someone there to guide you or you yourself and the introspection and the aha moment you have when you realize what your purpose of life is. The book talks about ikigai being a place or a section which is surrounded by things you love to do, things you are good at and things you can be paid for and finally what are the things the world needs and can benefit from your talents if you see the basic diagram given in the book you will see the three circles and the intersection of the three circles that place that section that overlapping section is your ikigai or your purpose of life that thing is common in all the four places and the three circles so finding something which is common looks like so simple all you need to do is fill in all these sections and it feels so simple and so easy right but it's not if you are the lucky one maybe you will get it in one go if not it's not that easy sometimes we can't find one common thing between all the circles and all these things but then that is perfectly okay even the book says it's all about your lifelong journey a process to actually know your ikigai and it takes time it's not like a very quick process but for few yes you can easily find something which overlaps between all the sections and that will be your ikigai two things i would like to point out here is one sometimes it's just not one thing. It can be an area of things. It can be a variety of things which you feel um, is your ikigai and your purpose of life. And that's totally okay. Um, not necessarily it will always be one thing. It can be more than one thing. Two, remember ikigai is not constant. It can be for few people, but it kinds of keep on changing because over you know a long duration of time like 10 years down the line you might love something else or 10 years down the line the world might need something else so you don't know it keeps on changing and that's the whole point is life is like a journey and you cannot predict everything in the journey it will keep on changing and so will your ikigai and it's all about keeping yourself updated and going with the process and enjoying the process and at the end of the day, it's your ikigai and you get to decide it, you get to choose it and it's perfectly okay how long you take and how much it changes. So let's do this exercise mentioned in this book. Let's use any plain sheet of paper or you can use your journal as well and we are going to do this exercise. On a blank sheet of paper, divide it into four sections and put the headings as follows. What you love, what you're good at, what the world needs and what you can be paid for now come to the first section so the first section is things you love now these can be your hobbies your talents your skills these are the things you really love doing 
the second section is things you're good at or so these are the things that not only you're good at but you love doing as well like things you are passionate about thing which you're interested in it sparks joy list all those things in this section and the third section is what the world needs now in this particular section you can think of things which world can benefit from which your society can benefit from your skills which um you know the world and society can basically benefit from list all the things in the third section and the final section is things that you can be paid for the world or people are ready to pay you for those things um your skills or something that basically your job what you're doing and uh, what are people willingly um ready to pay you for i have written everything down as well and i would like to give you some examples so for example what i am good at so i think i am good at listening to others being helpful um making online content for my youtube channel makeup studying productivity tips and hacks i'm really good at that i'm also good at decluttering and um organizing stuff so these are the things i'm really good at the next category is what i love so i definitely love creating content for youtube i love the work i do i also love studying and i love these self growth self care things and learnings i do i just love all of these things and i also love makeup the third category is what the world needs or can benefit from obviously like i said the world needs people who can listen they need patient listeners also need such content which can help other people out there um which can help them be more productive the world can also benefit from kindness and people who are ready to help and the final category what can i be paid for so i can definitely be paid for the work i'm already doing um i'm already a psychologist and a homeopath so whatever i do in that field i can be paid also hopefully one day i will be paid for the content creation i'm doing here so that these are the things i can be paid for so one thing which we see stands out in all the four section is content creating for you guys out there of my ability to help others that's the reason i'm in a field where i get to help people um support people out there so this feels like my ikigai my purpose of life of helping others of creating content online like i said your ikigai can be more than one thing it necessarily doesn't have to be just one thing and i highly urge you to take up this activity take a sheet of paper go ahead challenge yourself sit down think about it and fill in these sections and find your ikigai and like i said this is my ikigai for the moment but i don't know what and how things can change and i'm a person who's ready to embrace changes and so should you because eka guy keeps on changing it doesn't have to be constant i hope you like this video and i hope it helps you find your eka guy or purpose of life if not that's also okay it's a lifelong process like i have mentioned so many times in this video Like always if you like this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit the little bell icon next to it so that you can be updated with all my latest videos if you are a regular on my channel you know past few weeks i have been regularly posting bonus videos on sunday so yes i might change my schedule to sunday and thursday but i'm still thinking about it and i want to be totally sure about it before i commit to you know having two videos a week but for now meet me next thursday until then take care bye bye i love you all